Uh, my name is uh, Professor Iman Azem. I'm Assistant Professor, Faculty of Medicine, University of Alexandria. Um, today, I am um, very delighted to have our annual International Scientific Congress uh, of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Obesity. And uh, from this point, I would like to um, put a spot on uh, endocrine causes, uh, which causes hyperglycemia. Uh, Di uh, diabetes or hyperglycemia was so much far known to be type 1 or type 2 diabetes but in fact there are many other types like gestational diabetes and uh, drug induced hyperglycemia and endocrinopathy causing hyperglycemia. It was uh, recently furthermore more divided into uh, type uh, 1, type 2, type 3 and type uh, 4 diabetes or gestational diabetes and type 3 diabetes were further uh, classified into type 3A, 3B, 3D and 3C. And endocrinopathy causing diabetes is the what so called the type 3D diabetes. Um, endocrinology causes uh, or endocrinopathy causing hyperglycemia is uh, acromegaly which is an increase in gross hormone secretion by the pituitary gland or ectopic secretion of gross hormone and IGF-1. Uh, increase the cortisol secretion known as Cushing, whether Cushing disease or Cushing syndrome. Uh, increase in catecholamines uh, secreted by the uh, adrenal glands, uh, causing uh, pheochromocytoma uh, and other tumors of the adrenal glands like Kahn's disease. Um, uh, other GIT tumors like uh, vipomas, glucagonomas, uh, these are rare conditions, but they all cause uh, increase in type 2 diabetes. There is also Poems syndrome and other rare syndromes that cause increase in uh, blood sugar level. Uh, it was uh, previously known that these endocrinopathies, um, known as uh, secondary diabetes, and they were so-called secondary diabetes because by treatment of the uh, cause of this hyperglycemia, diabetes vanish and vanishes, and uh, the patient become eoglycemic once more. Thank you, and uh, may we meet again.